Hello, I'm Sean, aka the Cockney Charmer, and welcome to another Minecraft Dungeon video. And this one is a bit personal for me. This morning I started off needing four achievements to get 1000 game score and 100% done on Minecraft Dungeons. And just randomly I was trying to do one of the achievements which if I bring it up today I can show you was this one use artifacts to summon the wolf, llama and iron golem allies at least once each now I had the llama who I call Larry I had the wolf which I call Wolf but the golem the iron golem the artifacts for that you can only get from pumpkin pastures on apocalypse mode and it will only drop randomly in the end mission chest I tried four times yesterday never happened randomly quarter by six this morning as I was preparing to stream later in the day and I was just checking save files it landed first time I was like okay I think we can do this so I changed my stream plan from Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath story mode to finishing every achievement in this game which I thought would take two hours how wrong was I so the next one was to equip a gear set of fully enchanted items all leveled up to tier 3 which I able to do on stream revive a down friend 20 times I also able to do that on stream. Thank you to my great, amazing best friend Feisty who joined my game and allowed herself to die probably about 15 times so I could revive her 15 times just to get this achievement. So the very last achievement is this. High Treason. Defeat the Arch Illager on Apocalypse difficulty. And the reason why this was such an absolute ball ache for me was because the random generator after giving me the iron golem first time decided to go true to form and basically for the entire stream I was underpowered in an incredible way to face the arch illager I basically started today at level 74 power level 73 and for the best part of the stream, I was only able to raise my power level up to 80. You needed to be 91 to take on the Arch Illager. And I tried. And I failed. After the stream, I decided to do a little bit of farming, just to see if, I, if it would make a difference. And then lo and behold, as I was farming, I, managed, I picked up a Diamond Sword at level 96 with leeching in charge which means I every ki every death I got 8% of health back of that mob's health back to me swirling which means I can do a 1200 final move in my sword swinging combo and radiance so there's 20% 20, 20% uh, 20 chance that smacking a mob or getting a hit will give me 430 health back I then picked up this armor. I was actually, this was from the Redstone Mines. I was fighting the Redstone Monstrosity, hoping to get the Firebrand Axe, but instead I got this, which for me looks like the Mandalorian armor. The Bespa armor. Helmet, cauldrons, gloves, knee pads. Look at that armor 3100 health. When, if I have to use a potion, it boosts my defense. 35% damage reduction. A 30% chance to negate hits. That means that if I'm hit by anything, there's a 30% chance that the arm will say, Nah, doesn't count, and he won't hit me. And 100% longer roll cooldown, which allows me to dodge quicker. I was then able to give it my favorite enchantment. Snowball which now up to tier 3 every second it sends out a snowball which doesn't sound a lot but a snowball will stun an enemy in their tracks for at least a second allowing you to get your hits in 
I also have protection up to level 3 and it's a powerful one which means it's, got, it, it's boosted a little bit so not only do I have 35% damage reduction on the armor I then boosted it with another 15% so technically I should only take 50% of damage from anything that hits me insane deflect deflect is incredible Grants a small chance to deflect incoming projectiles. I now have a 60% chance, so there's more, you know. So basically, if an enemy shoots an arrow at me, there's a good chance it's going to ping off me and go right back at them, which is funny as hell, and you hear a ding sound. And my rapid crossbow. In infinity arrows, which means there's a l almost 50% chance that any arrow of fire, I will get back. I then have multi-shot. Grants a chance to fire five arrows at once instead of one. A 40% chance that I can fire five arrows at once. And then piercing. Every arrow will shoot through an enemy and hit another enemy. So my arrows will do more damage to more things using less arrows. It's incredible. And a quick look at my artifacts. I have a level 95 har harvester. This basically, so when you kill an enemy, you see a white skull, it's their soul. Collect enough souls, and then with the harvester, you can let out one massive blast of soul power, which will kill pretty much anything nearby. Because like I said, this thing can do almost 3,500 damage when it's fully charged. Or at the very least, it will knock back all the enemies around you. So if you're being crowded, that's a lifesaver. Next, Love Medallion. The ability to turn up to three hostile mobs into allies for 10 seconds before they disappear. At level 98, this is my highest, highest artifact. It also means they will do plus 98% damage whilst I'm in control of them. That means if there's enemies, as long as they're not being enchanted, enemies like the big boys in this final level, I can control three of them who will fight for me for 10 seconds and then they'll die. Mob control. Crowd control. It is powerful. I recommend it so much. And finally, the Golem Kit. Gerald. This is actually the second one. The first one we called Gary on stream. And then we randomly got this from the Artifact Seller at the base camp. Level 80. Not a high level. But this guy, will, it will summon an Iron Golem to fight by your side as long as his health survives. Very good at distracting. He will punch anything. And he, you will see this guy yeet stuff left, right and centre. He's also very handy for distracting bosses so you can get your arrows in. So this is me. Player level 90. Power level 93. All day we've been trying to reach power level 91 to take on the Arch Illager. And by the way, he's Gerald. Big boy. I was going to try and wait to 97, but I have—I don't think I'm going to get the gear to be able to raise my power level up to 97 until I've done this. So this is the recommended power level that has been out all day. This is what I've been working towards. Ladies and gentlemen, after failing on my stream today, and hopefully you're still watching, I'll put a, a time link in the description to say when to skip to get to the actual level. But this is it, for the final achievement, for 1000 gaming score, for 100% completion of Minecraft Dungeons. Here we go, wish me luck. I cannot stress how much this has bugged me all day since failing. The just not being the right power level, I was, like, I was literally, a, a friend of mine came into stream who was who's just started this on Xbox, who's level 40 and power level 80, or near enough, and and I was like level 70 and barely getting anything above 60. So I am really hoping that my character right now, the Minecraft Mandalorian, as I will now call him, the Mando, and his reign of terror ends tonight. Now it's time to see what my guy can do. When I tried this on stream, I had one run before I gave up. 
and I got 50% through the level. Oh, big boy already. Now on a on apocalypse difficulty, what will happen is you will get some enemies, just as you can enchant your armor and weapons to boost. They can as well. So this is quite this is quite interesting. So they have the ability to they have gravity, and they can regenerate health. So you can imagine why I failed before when my power level was so bad before. Go away you. You can go away. That yellow flash you see is a radiance from my weapon. That's actually healing me. That will come into great use later on. I've also got to be very careful the amount of arrows that I'm using right now. Because I need to save as many as I can for the final boss encounter. So my diamond sword is doing exactly what I hoped it would. It's doing big damage and it's healing me. The snowball, as you can see, that little swirly thing around the head. That's the snowball feature. Stunning. So every second he sends out a snowball, so I'm literally just stunning these guys for a second and getting three hits in. So believe me, if you're playing this and you've got armour that has a snowball feature and you're not using it, you might want to reconsider. Because it's very once it's fully levelled up, so you're firing one every second, being able to stun an enemy so you get three hits in. Oh. Right, falling down a hole and catching on fire. Not great, but as you can see, I've got 415 health back from that hit. So I'm attacking and healing at the same time. Do you hear that ting? You can see the arrows are bouncing off my arrow and going straight back to the person who fired it. So when you're in the middle of a group and you're being attacked by multiple archers and you see those arrows bouncing back and hitting them Deflection boys and girls See I've not even had to call out Gerald yet I managed to, I've had to use them once at the start I've not had to use them since oh, I just lost those animals I hate it when that happens now I tend to bring up the map sometimes because it just helps navigate um, the map overlay by pressing down on the D-pad once or tab if you're on PC it brings up the map overlay hold it down and it brings up the full map it's just a very quick way of being able to navigate where you're going on the map there you go, snowball's working TNT. Nice. I, honestly, you you wouldn't think the snowball feature um, power will be that impressive, but it stuns anything apart from boss monsters. I've not seen the uh, actually slow them down at all. Although, if you do have if you have chilling effects, that will slow down um, a boss. It will slow them down at least. Not for you, Sunny Boy. Is there anything after here I can get? <laughs> and that's another reason why I haven't got um, Gerald out at this moment because all this springing around. Sometimes he he will teleport to where you are. Sometimes he won't. See the difference, and I'll say it again, the difference the snowball effect has by getting, allowing you to have a free hit on these big boys. 
Because if you've got a decent weapon that does big damage. There you go. Enemy archer arrows are bouncing off me. Not all of them will, it's not 100%, but more often than not, when you need it to. See, I took a couple of hits there, and thanks to the Radiance effect on my sword, got my health back. Bring out the Gollum, just as a little bit of backup for these guys jumping in. I just let Gollum go to it. Look at him go, just yeeting people left, right, and centre. Go on, Gerald. And Gerald will stay up as long as he's he has health. So he's not even a he's not even a time summon either. He will remain there. Hopefully, you should follow me down as well. I'll show you what a harvest they can do. And that's what a harvest they can do. You're telling me there's one more somewhere? Really? It honestly is, it's just so funny to see the snowboard effects <laughs> just work. Again, it's such an it's, it's such a when you look at it and you just you dismiss it straight away, but until you use it and you see just how strong it is against enemies. Joe's gone down for the first time, but he did what he needed. He did what needed him to do. Provide the distraction. The llama is quite good as well. Um, it will spit. It will shoot. Um, the wolf, however, oh, nah. it might be able to help if you have more than one. You can have more than one pet as well. You can equip all three of them at the same time if you want. So you can have a wolf and you can have the llama all fighting for you at the same time but I found that the wolf is really not as effective as you would think he is even a high level ones just to show you what my bow can do so every other shot is basically firing five arrows instead of one but it will only cost you one arrow to do so So, so far, just to recap, my build. Ah, oh, see the arrows pinging back. Amazing. So, I've got a sword that not only does big damage, but can also grab healing as well. As well as the fact that it has a leeching, apart from radiance as well, but it also leeches health off mobs as well when they die. Harvester. Just a click. So you can see, he killed some. Others, you just push back. Just give you some, just give you some breathing space. That allows you to just, if you're low in health, just gives you the opportunity just to move away, start again. Ah, the invisibility potion, which doesn't work things that might have been addressed in a patch. So I'll bring up Gerald again, again as a distraction so I can take care of it. These guys are in charge with, uh, with burning and fast attack. The ones you want to watch out for are any enchanted enemy that has... Um... Ooh, that was nasty. Whatever that was, took about 95% of my health. Electrified, that's what it was. Again, this is why this level can be so difficult, because I was in on Apocalypse. 
they have extra health, they hit harder, and then they, they're enchanted as well. So just as you can get enchantments with your weapons and your armor, they have the enemy also with a randomly with some as well. The worst ones are the ones where you can get some that will have deflex as well, so your arrows will do damage to you, but will also have falls. So any damage you do to them will reverse, will reflect back on you. So you have to be a little bit creative then, which is why Gerald comes in very handy. Also, having a weapon that does um, healing like Radiance means that hopefully, as you're doing damage to them, you can get some health back, even if they're using Thorns. Get out of here. Now it's fair to say there's some of the armor, some of the strongest armor in the game early on also looks the worst. <laughs> Which is why I'm really pleased with this armor. Because it just looks I mean look and just Oh just level 99 bow. We'll keep that. I'll probably never use it, but it's level 99. Honestly, I cannot stress enough just what a surprise the last sort of hour was after the stream when I was just like, is this game really not going to give me anything I can use to do this today? And then all of a sudden, the sword drops. I get one decent set of armor, and then all of a sudden, I get this armor to replace it. And it was like, this is just crazy. When a random generator gives you nothing, and then suddenly gives you everything, and it's like, right. Here we go, it's a gift. That's why I'm making this video, because right now I think luck's on my side. Four hundred and ninety-five hours. See you can see you can just see the snowballs are just flinging because there's an enemy there. He literally cannot move now as long as my snowballs are <laughs> he's just totally stoned. Stoned out of his nut on snowballs. Okay, we're approaching the halfway point. And now I'll bring a Gerald to serve as a distraction. He probably won't last very long. There you go, Gerald's just yeeted right off. Now with these redstone golems, you can bait them into going down, as in taking a knee to charge their attack up. If you can, that's when you can let rip. If you've got a decent bow, that's when you can just let rip. And all you can really do is keep your distance. Try and do as much damage as you possibly can. As you can see, my armor's ability to negate hits just cancelled out his massive smack. I'll bring in Gerald, because Gerald will hold him in place. Even if it's just a few seconds. Just a few seconds is all I need. And then I can mind control these guys. They will fight for me as well. Again, all distractions. back so that was a bit that could have been a big awkward fight that was kind of muted because able to use my golem as a distraction keep my distance use the arrows my range weapon to keep just to do extra damage and so far we still have all three all three lives on the mission and we are about to land on a halfway mark now we go inside the fortress. Whew. So far, so good. It's amazing when you start seeing your stuff all come together. The radiance from your... Oh, an enderman wants to come and pie, does it? 
Where is it? Come on in the man, if you're gonna fight me, fight me. I hate Endermen. They're just annoying. Come on. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Morpheus. No. Don't you smack Gerald in the back of the head. Wow, wither armor. That is the first time I have seen this. So almost 4,000 health, 35% damage reduction. It will gather all souls, because sometimes you can miss them. 3% life steal. Chilling, final shot, protection. Level 98. We'll keep that, because that looks... Actually, let's just see what what does it look like. Wow, we look like a trash panda Boba Fett. Actually, we look like a really broken up Robocop. We'll go back to the Mandalorian. But again, you can see that's just an example of somehow, for some strange reason, the random generator is going. Do you know what? Yeah, we 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 hard we did you dirty on stream. Go on, have this on us. Have this on us. They, they, so these ones do double damage. They can heal each other. <sighs> Alright, so these guys have got fawns. So I need to be very careful now. Because whatever damage I do to them... They would just do back to me. So this is where my radiance and leeching is going to come in handy. <sighs> Not going to lie. I'm feeling a bit tense at this moment in time. And I probably shouldn't. Another wrist on Gollum, so it's exactly the same technique. Send out George. I know some white control the most behind it, so distract it. I normally use a um, imp imploding or exploding bow. So I would normally do mass amounts of damage at this point, but. Yeah, she got stuck on the table. You got unstuck from the table. George! I'm going to control you. This is a nasty place to this is a nasty place to fight a golem because he's just so closed off you can get stuck on walls. <sighs> Could you all lava please go away? That, this is the lowest my health has been. All level. A 
and as you can see I had basically just under half health and killed a few mobs back to full health and while we're here if you are uh, enjoying this video I do have a playlist of guide videos on how to find all the secret runes and secret level in Minecraft but for you if you want to find it in Obsidian Pinnacle basically once you've come inside you need to look for this here this little arena and there's a little book here which opens the secret compartment and this is where you'll get the rune but if you've already got the rune there's a, secret, there's a chest in there as well Look at our hunt. See, I'm now, I'm now getting level 100 stuff. I wasn't even giving, getting level 80 stuff on stream. You tell me the random generator is, is fair or not. Now these are the big boys. These, they, so again, these guys are enchanted. Again, double damage seems to be their thing. They also have extra protection, so they take less damage and they issue more damage, which is probably why they're doing so much hit damage on me. Oh, I'm sorry, George. George? Gerald! George was another character that was a bit of a git. I don't, I don't think... Are we quite finished here? We are. Squeaky bum down, ladies and gentlemen. Secret found. Three chests to go. I don't care about the chests. This is all about the price in this final battle. George? Come on, George, it's Gerald. Why don't you call him George? I will not look like Harry Potter. That was me just showing off, really. There was no need for me to go in and use half, so, but we'll get the souls back. I accidentally used my potion there, but I should come back before any problems start. So I cannot recommend enough having a character build that you are comfortable with, that you are happy with. This one works for me. There are other builds you can do. You don't have to use the snowboard effect or radiance. 
But for me, one more time, please, George. Gerald. Ah, oh, and we get told off for doing it. Just take a knee, take a knee, take a knee. There you go. Gerald? No, G Gerald. That way. Thank you, thank you. I would love... I'm hoping I at some point will get a level 100. I think 100 might be the, the actual um, cap. See, there you go. He hit me there. And my armor went, nah, that's okay. Just did it again. Use the potion just to be on the safe side. Okay, box of TNT back. Play it safe. So go and if you have a weapon that can kill that thing with few hits, go for it. If you have a bow that can do it, brilliant. But if you have to back up, do so because nothing is more frustrating than dying just because you either didn't have a potion ready or because you thought you were superman and you could go in and just kill it with just two swings of your sword because trust me that never is the case we're jumping about again so they've got regeneration, protection, and they can even fire trail. And the fire will do me damage. So I'm just going to use my control. Use the love medallion. Control the ones at the back of them. Keep them at a distance with the snowballs, which is very nice. Anything over here? No. Basically, about love medallion is that it works at a distance as well. It also works through walls, which is why it's also very, very handy. Oh, I'm happy with this so far. And try not to get too overly confident because it can go pear show very quickly. All it takes is for one group of enemies, like these guys, to have double damage. It all depends. Again, it's just a random luck of this. So far. The damage they're doing, my radiances and the leeching of this diamond sword. And my snowballs are now slowing them down as well, so they get a couple of hits in. Snowballs uh, stuns them, my radiance kicks in, and I get my health back. Not even having to call out my golem yet. So, Gerald, you doing well? Are you going to die?
Oh. This could be it. I think this is the final boss. Yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The moment we have been building to. Again, what's at stake is 1,000 game score, 100% achievement after six hours of failing on stream. This is me trying to get retribution. This is a really... This is stage one. So you might think, oh well, is that it? Is this is what we're doing? No. Because it's not really the arch illager we're fighting at this point. And this is the bit where I have to see if we can choose it. It's not over. There we go. The heart of Ender. For the first time. So, I was taught this by a friend of mine. This little corner here is the best place to avoid those beams. And as you can see, at that point, it didn't work. So I'm trying to be very careful here. Send that Gerald. Okay. I've got a little cocky there. I'm just going to turn off the map because the map's not helping me this point. Absolute git. Oh. I saw that. I literally watched myself die and went, I had a potion there. Okay, two lives left. I'm annoyed because I really wanted to do that without losing a life, but thankfully the achievement doesn't all quite all you've got to do is beat it, so. Go on, Gerald. Have a go. And this is why I was saving up all the arrows. Oh, I don't believe it. I think we're going to do it. And that's what you give me. A hammer. Right. The achievement has not popped. Boom! 
Boom, and there we have it. Oh, 3.02% now. I was worth one point. Oh, okay. I was worth 0.14%, was I? The Arch Illager, the enemy of the villagers, was defeated. Retribution. Revenge. He's mine. Great heroes save. I kind of like this ending as well because it's like, oh no, we're all friends together. Now a tease for the DLC. And There's two DLC coming to Minecraft wasn't. Dungeons that we know of so far. The first one it launches in July. And that is the crystal the Arch Illager used to control people, bend them to his will. And it appears to be reforming itself. I wonder if the game says anything for finishing it on a pocket. It's like, thanks for coming. Yeah. Healing done, zero. Interesting. 64% of our projectiles hit. Normally it says how much damage you dealt, but it hasn't this one. And what's our final reward for beating this guy? What cool bit of artifact, armor, or weapon do we get? Lightning rod, so we can call down lightning. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. All I, I need to find, only thing left for me to do now is to find the crypts, um, which I need to do. But. Nice work, you've unlocked all the achievements for this game. 24 achievements. 3.02% of players have done this. Still rare, so I'm good with that. So, thank you very much for sticking with me. To everyone on stream who might watch this video later, thank you for all your support. Vengeance was mine. Look at all this stuff. That I'm most pleased about. The wither armor I'm most pleased about. I wonder if we... Let's try one more time. Last time. Golem? No. Too much to be... Oh, we did get, a, <laughs> we did get 96 wolf. So, never got a complete set. In fact... We shall finish the stream with the family. We have Wolf. We have Larry. And we have Gerald. All of us together in the garden. Chilling out. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, please do check out the other videos on my channel. Like I said, there's a whole playlist to find all the secret runes in all the story levels to unlock the secret mis mis yeah, the secret mystery level on Minecraft Dungeons. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, those my numbers are small, but to a small channel like mine. Increasing those numbers can mean the difference between getting games to make videos and games to review or having nothing. So every like, thumbs up, comment, all helps out. But until my next video, I have been Sean the Courtney Charmer. Stay safe. Take care. Be safe. Happy gaming, people. Thanks for watching.